Hi, this is Callie Mettler Smith, and I'm here with the beautiful Laura. And today is the release of her book, which is Quarters, which I have my copy right here. How are you today, Laura? I'm great, Callie. How are you? I'm loving the rain that we're having in this area. Oh, we're, it's been raining for like a week straight here in Iowa. So it's gray, at least here too. So. <laughs> So I'm so excited about your book and um, it, I've got the opportunity to take it in through acquisitions last year and it was just one of those books that I read the first 10 pages and I was immediately hooked in wanting to know what happened to these, um, these kids. And so um, I'll let you kind of tell us like your summary of the book and then we can talk a little bit more about the different characters in the book. Okay. Witches Quarters is about four siblings who um, end up in a different world by using and dropping quarters, commemorative American quarters, into an enchanted coin bank. And it takes them to this alternative universe called Nova. Um, and it's the scene that's on the back of the quarter. So the first quarter that is used is North Dakota. So they end up in a scene with bison and plateaus and, and what's on the back of that quarter. Um, Nova is a world that is at war. Um, the animals in the book are actually intelligent talking animals and there are witches in the book as well um, who I, you'll find out by reading the book um, <laughs> where the witches come from and, um, and you know what they're all about. But the kids are in kind of a similar position as the reader, where you land in this world and you have no idea who's good and who's bad, just that these two groups are fighting and you have no, they have no idea um, what they're fighting for and what the, the disagreement is based on. And the reader learns as the four children learn what's kind of going on. Um, and of course, the two oldest siblings don't agree about how to to find their way home and they end up getting split it up and um, have to find their way back to each other. Awesome. So do you, um, so there are three girls and then one brother in the, um, in the four siblings. And so did you base this off of real people? How did you develop each one of those characters? You know, they're not really based off of real people, but the interactions, I'm from a big family and maybe I just chose the one brother to all the girls because my family is that way. There are, are six girls and one boy and, um, and in the whole book, the girls are always kind of picking on him and ignoring him and, you know, like the boy's name is Nolan. So he says something and it's, oh, Nolan, ignore him, which is kind of exactly like we were growing up. Um, I would say the two older sisters relationship, I mean, they're not based on real people, but their relationship is, um, is kind of, you know, like a typical two older kids, you know, my oldest sister and, um, the sister that's closest to her in age, they kind of butt, butted heads and, and fought a lot. And I see that in my children, the two that are closest in age or, always fighting about everything. They can never agree upon anything. And they, you know, what one has the other wants, it has to have, even though they haven't even noticed that one thing for the last, you know, six months or whatever. Um, so the, the relationships between the siblings, because I come from a large family and I have children of my own, um, they're very much based on the interactions that I've seen, you know, with real family members. Yeah. Well, and I have to say that really the dynamic between the two oldest siblings to me was one of my favorite relationships through the whole book. I'm really, um, I felt like I was the most invested in their relationship. Mm -hmm. Um, and I really, I like how that developed out through the whole book. Um, so when you're, when you're talking about the premise of that we're taking quarters and we're putting them into a bank and they're being transformed, how did you come up with that concept? That's so unique. Um, when I read it the first time, I was like, oh, wait, wait, what happened? What, what are they doing? And so 
did you just, you know, where did that imagination come from? So um, that was kind of just one of those random thoughts that popped in my head. I was at the time, um, cause this, I started writing this book of, several years ago. So at the time I was working at the public defender's office. Um, I'm an attorney. And um, so I was a public defender and anybody, when you're a public defender, people are constantly telling you you're underpaid and overworked, underpaid and overworked. I don't think people really understand the situation that public defenders in America are in and how much worse it is getting over time. I ultimately ended up leaving the public defender's office because I felt like I just couldn't do it. I mean, it is such a drain on you and you constantly see people being railroaded and you kind of feel like everybody's kind of angry. Everybody's at you. You know, the judges are mad at you for filing motions. The prosecutors are mad just because they're always mad at you. And the clients sometimes are angry at you. And so when I came up with that idea of the book, I was actually, it had been one of those days where kind of everybody was, I felt like everybody was on me. I hadn't slept much because I was constantly working. Mm -hmm. And um, I just gotten off the phone with a particularly difficult client who had for whatever reason, been very upset about something. And I had opened my desk drawer and sitting there was a quarter and it was, had the three horses on the back. Um, so it was Nevada. And I thought, which is also in the book. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I thought, oh, wouldn't it be really nice to just like go there and that, that be like the scene of where I am right now. And then kind of the idea developed from there. Yeah, I love it. I think it's such, especially for people that that really love those quarters and collected them. You know, everybody has, you know, some place in their house where they have all 50 quarters and some type of thing. Um, I found, we, we do. And so I found myself going and opening those up to actually look at the quarters through the process of reading the book to see what they actually looked like because it talks about them in the book. Um, but seeing them, them in person in conjunction is kind of a fun, um, I guess, game to play as you're reading through the book. Um, so the, this, the paperback version comes out today, which I, I think the cover is just beautiful and really breathtaking. And so um, you can order it on Amazon and through the Clear Fort Publishing website today. Um, it will be available on Kindle and iBooks and um, any ebook reader on Friday. Um, we will also be doing a virtual book club with this on November, what did we say, 8th, 9th? I wrote it down, 8th. Um, yes. Yeah. No <laughs> 10 p.m. Yeah. November 8th um, at 8 o'clock Eastern time where we will, you can order the book online um, through Amazon or through um, Kindle or iBooks and read it. And then we will be having a virtual book club where um, we will have a Zoom portal and people can come in and ask you questions about the book and we can discuss it and talk about the different interactions between the siblings. I mean, there's so many underlying themes to this book that we can really go into a lot of depth and discuss. And so we'll be posting some social media um, posts about that on the Clear Fork page later today. Um, also, Laura, if they want to find you on social media and the World Wide Web, where would they go? Where's the best place to find you? They can find me at my website, which is laurasnyderstories.com and Snyder with an I. Okay. Um, and then that has links to my Facebook, um, my Instagram, my Twitter page, um, and all that. So, so Central Hub to, to find you. Um, you can also go on the Clear Fort Publishing website, and Laura has her own page on the Clear Fort Publishing website that also links to her various social media so you can go there to find her also so I'm so excited me too <laughs> well thank you so much for taking some time today to talk about witches quarters Laura 
You're welcome and thank you. Thank you for working with me and it's been so much fun. I just can't wait for other people to read it. I can't wait. Me either. I can't wait to see what other people think as they they get into the world and in the comments that they have about all these characters and settings that we've learned to love over the last year. Um, also. Right. Yeah.